Yo, it's Phil. Today we are in the lab. I'm going to be going through my streaming setup. In this video, I would link everything in the description, all the tech I use. And to be honest, it is not a must to have everything you're going to see in this video. While I'm showing you my stream setup, I'll be setting up the stream. Over here, we have my girl Unity. Inside, we have the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660, alongside Rin from Star Wars, and a Corsair 8 gig of RAM, and a CPU RGB. This is what controls my streams. It's not the most powerful gaming computer out there, but it does the job for streaming. Here we have my first 1080p monitor. This was my first gaming monitor I actually used to stream. We will skip this baby and we'll head to this one. This was my second monitor. So this became the main gaming monitor to stream on. 4K, the standard 4K. Going across to the middle monitor now, this one is the beast. A few of you may have seen this monitor already. I've got an unboxing video on it. I've got a review on it, so go and check those videos out. My favourite monitor, my, this might be my favourite piece of tech in the room. Going on back to this monitor, now this monitor is literally just the um, chat monitor, wouldn't you say so, Chris? Yep. So we use the chat on this. Also, we use Streamlabs on this side as well, but I'll get into that later. Going on to the keyboard. We have the core... Say Mechanical Mark II. You know what? For my first keyboard, it was alright, it was fun, it was good, but I felt the slowness when I was playing Call of Duty. It was crazy. I was like, boom, boom. By the time I turn around, bam, headshot. Dead. Fast. It's one of the fastest keyboards out there. Look, response time is perfect. I need to upgrade, to be honest. It's been a while, to be fair. So hopefully throughout the months, the years, I'll be getting upgrades. Cause I really, Chris, we really, really need a stream deck. I'm not gonna lie. No, we do. I want a stream deck, pop it right here. And I could just do stream everything. You could do nice. all the stuff. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> do all that good stuff. Everything. Emos, explosions, Boom. all that good stuff. But I can't do it right now. I can't even zoom into myself. I'll show you on the software later. Here we have the beautiful Agato Wave 3. What I really love about this mic here, first is the mic stand. Before, with my old previous mic, I did not have this lovely stand. Top of that, I don't need to touch my Streamlabs software because this mic has it all set up and built in already. Right here it says mute, so I don't have to touch the Streamlabs software. At the back, it has an AUX slot and a USB slot. So you can hear yourself when you plug in your headphones. Yeah, let's get this mic set up. We plug the USB in right at the back. I don't know if you've got to see that. It plugs in right there to power it on. I'll show you my headphones later, but that's where the headphones plug in so you can hear yourself. Going on to the face cam. We have it right here. I've also got an unboxing video for this face cam right here, but we're gonna get it plugged in so you can see the quality of this face cam. Yeah, if you non-Apple users are thinking, what on the earth is that? That's the MagSafe charger for the iPhones. That's what that is. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate the like. New subscribers, thank you so much. But remember to like and subscribe to this video if you're enjoying it or if you found anything what's helped you out so far. I got all of my life hacks as well. I use a headset stand here. Yeah? as my camera stands. So I pop it right here. Well, it can either go right there or I put it on this side here, depending if I'm streaming by myself or I'm streaming with just Chrissy. But majority of the time it is on this side. And then I pop the face cam. Yeah, then I flip the face cam upside down, release this part here, and literally just pop it right there. And it literally just slots perfectly in. All right, we are here. Got the mic set up, keyboard, mouse. So next thing I need to do is open up Streamlabs. Streamlabs, there's loads of softwares you could use to stream with. I personally use Streamlabs OBS. 
I don't know. I just gravitated towards it. I find it more simple to use. For my brain, it works out just fine. I have a trouble using Streamlabs, but back to the face cam. We're going to take off the face cam and you might see something pretty scary. <laughs> there I am. I was playing. This is what I use. That's my background. That's my field of depth I have at the back. I don't know, I'm not really a green screen person. I don't know why I'm looking over there when you are like over here. See, I thought I was on the stream, I was ready. I'll show you quick features, what I was saying earlier, what I cannot do without the stream deck. So to use this zoom in feature, to zoom into this face right here. As I was saying earlier, I haven't got a stream deck. So for me to do that, like, the little zoom in feature, I've got, to, I've got to come out of Streamlabs, open up my camera hub, and then here you go. You can zoom in, zoom out. If you want to see something in the back, I'll just be like, boom. It's got a built-in software you can install onto the computer. You can just change the contrast, saturation, sharpness. You can set it to automatic, noise reduction. It's got a lot built into this camera. Now, to the capture cards. I'll spin around. My baby just here. I've got a next Agato product, hd 60 If It calls up to 4K and streams up to 4K, but there's no point streaming up to 4K because... Twitch prefers 720, so when I'm recording my gameplay, that's when I can record it up to the highest standards, but I still don't record it to its full max. I record about 2K of gameplay. Get it plugged in and set up. All right, all I need is this handy controller. If you don't know, I'm a um, variety streamer, console gamer, PC gamer. But mainly a streamer, I'm a console gamer. Let's turn this console on. So you should see it pop up on the screen right here in this little left-hand corner. Oh, how can I forget, Chrissy? I've got the handy headphones, what you need when you're streaming. You know what I love about these headphones? The 3D Pluses from the PlayStation 5. You don't miss anything. You don't miss anything. You can hear when the soldiers are creeping in the grass like snakes behind you. PlayStation Plus 3D, my wireless headset. They have not failed me yet. It has the 3D sound. You can hear everything around you. It's got dual hidden microphones. Built-in rechargeable battery, easy access to controls. For example, you have the volume for the game. And then you swing it to the side, you've got chat volume and you've got game volume. It's very easy to use headphones, very comfortable. We just go to live scene and we're in it. I should be at the bottom left now and you should see the game. Before I get too hooked onto this game, yeah, there's a few things I need to show you. I've got the light just up here. I've got a ring light. It's okay, it does the job. Secretly, I need the Agato ring lights. I need those key ring lights. Yeah, you can catch me on Twitch at Phil's Lifestyle. I'm a variety gamer, you know. I play games, any type of game, really. Any type of game. But this Thursday, I'll be playing Guilty Gear Strive with Hades. There'll be the two games I'll be playing on Thursday. You can catch me on Monday playing Last of Us two with just Chrissy. I'll put everything in the link down below so you can get the times and all that sweet stuff. Once I got my stream set up, my full stream set up, everything I need, I'll do a next video so keep an eye out on that when everything's complete. But this is my stream. Oh, I'm getting murdered. This, ah, oh, getting murdered. This is my streaming setup at the moment. I'm not losing this on stream. Eh, yeah. I'm not even on stream on my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is my streaming setup. I hope you enjoyed.